Hello! In this series of videos we're going to look at some useful functionality in Excel for analysing data. So this is um, a data file from Gorilla and the first bit is lots of, uh, it can be useful information about exactly the time code when the data was collected, what the experiment ID is, the experiment version, the participant ID, the private participant ID, whether they're complete or not. Um, and then getting more useful is the name of the task. And then here, these are the key fields to look at, are, which are which screen they were on, what the zone name they were, what the zone name was called, what the zone type was, and then most important of all, the reaction time and whether they got it correct or not. And then appended to this is all the spreadsheet information so that you can also analyze if you were wanting to look at specific stimuli, for instance, um, that they got, they got the second trial right, but which trial was that that they got right? And now let's have a look at how you can um, filter this data to make it make more sense. So the easiest way to filter the data is, first of all, you need to select all of it. So you can go Control and Home, which takes you back to cell A1, and then press um, Control Shift left and Control Shift down, and this will select all the data. Once you've done that, you can press Filter. Now what I want to do is to look at just one participant's worth of data. So I'm going to go to this field, Participant ID, and select one participant. And then over here, actually what I'm interested in is only their responses. So I'm going to filter for the zone type response button image. And now I can see how this participant responded to the seven trials that they saw. And you can hear, see all seven trials here. And what I can see from the data here is that they got four right and three wrong. And in fact, that's summarized at the bottom here as well. They got they did seven trials in total and they got four of them right. And they're, they're, therefore their average score was 0.57. So that's one way of looking at the data, but it's quite limiting and it would take you a lot of time to look at all of the participants individually, which is when we come to pivot tables, which will be the next video.